Alright guys, so it's here again, and today I am going to sit down and open up the Lasonic TRC-931. My main reason for opening it today is because of... It's missing the uh, teeth. So I'm going to open this bad boy up and show you the insides and uh, hopefully uh, find all the parts to it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're in. But take a look at this. Wow, that uh, that poor cassette tape got right friggin' eaten. Hmm. Alrighty. Um. Well, let's start here. Is the a friend of mine there wanted me to show the magnets of the speakers. Uh, pretty dusty. I thought that I would have found the uh, cassette keys in here. But uh, I'm going to do some cleaning and I'm going to keep looking. Well, it's been about half an hour and I'm still at it here. Cleaned all the dust off. Especially on the power converter and stuff. Um, all the, most of the dust is off down there. Um, cassette mechanism doesn't work properly. The belts are all on there. Um, but, I don't know, I'm going to look into that in a little while here. The speaker, I'm just going to go clean this all off. Quite, quite a nice uh, set of speakers in this box. But uh, I'm going to continue cleaning for now. Okay guys, um, I've been struggling with this last speaker for about, um, I don't know, maybe an hour now. I've been struggling with the circuit boards, but I finally uh, untangled some wires, and now I moved the circuit board enough to unscrew one, one screw that was holding it in. And uh, now here's a moment of truth to see if that one screw is unscrewed enough to pull up the speaker. No, no it isn't. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, check her out. Now that took forever just to pull off the speaker. Alrighty, let's flip her over, clean her, put her back in, simple as that. Man, was it ever tough, guys. I, um, just that one screw in behind the circuit board there was just a bugger to get at. And uh, one thing I noticed also when I'm playing my uh, music loud or with lots of bass, this little spring on the deck here likes to vibrate against the metal. Like, just likes to vibrate when the uh, bass is up. And uh, this is just for when you put the tape in, it just, um, it's, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is what engages the play mode, I think. Or something like that. But, um, oh my gosh, trying to find the antenna input. The thing that connects to the uh, little, that's the uh, piece here. And I was looking at the bottom of the circuit board, because that's where it usually is, on other stereos at least. <laughs> That was, that was tough to find, but uh, I'm gonna try and get to sing it now together fully and uh, talk to you guys afterwards. Alright, guys, well, um, this is what I found inside the stereo. A lot of tape. Um, this is what I have. So I need, um, one, two, three, four. I need four more um, keys. And I found some broken pieces inside, but there's nothing broken from what I can tell. Or from what little I can tell. Who knows, maybe something broke, I don't know. Nothing on here is broken. Um, oh yeah, the speakers are all nice and clean. Unfortunately, there's just a little spot here or there. 
Um, but yeah, it's all all cleaned up now. There's no more dust. Uh, cassette player is pretty clean. Oops, let's fast forward. Clean from what I can get it. But yeah, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe.